buckling in to a one-of-a-kind snowboard, Darren Swift is a man on a mission. The former army veteran is training for snowboarding at the 2022 Winter Paralympic Games in China. Today, he's at the indoor slopes in Hemel Hempstead, but his journey began long ago when he was a victim of a terror attack in Belfast. Two members of the RA threw this bomb down on my head. I guess, presume they were going for my head. Landed at my feet, blew me on my backside and killed my buddy, killed my, um, my colleague. Since leaving the army, Darren pursued plenty of winter sports, eventually settling on snowboarding. He's trained across Europe and last year he tried representing the British Paralympic team. But as the only competitor with a double above the knee amputation, he missed out on qualification by just three seconds. And, and I did, I did okay. I was building my way up, but I really, because I couldn't go as fast as those, quite as fast as those guys, because I'm constantly trying to protect my spine and my pelvis um, on the old bindings that I had. Um, I was always going to be slower. These bindings are going to change that. He's hoping if more people with a double above the knee amputation feel like they can compete, then the International Paralympic Committee will introduce a new category for them. It may be mild weather outside, but Darren's training requires him to practice in minus two degrees. And today is an important session. It's the first day he'll be using his new binding, which will hopefully make all the difference. So these are the first 3D printed binding for uh, athletes who are double amputee above knees, ducks. And uh, the revolutionary thing is that we have used the same techniques that we employ for designing uh, airplane wings. Anyone with a particular problem uh, can benefit from, from the same uh, range of, uh, uh, of engineering, digital engineering expertise. After 15 years of blood, sweat and tears, Darren imparts his knowledge on a new generation of para-athletes. Now the technology is available, he says there's no excuse. Get out there and try it. Have a go. Come to a centre like this. Investigate the possibilities. See what is possible. Um, get off your backside and come and give it a go. Advice which we can all benefit from. Ryan Rangobin, 5 News.